All right, Algebra 1. Welcome back, guys. We are officially in Chapter 7 today. Okay, Chapter 7, and um, our first video back into uh, a new chapter. It's going to be pretty easy, pretty quick. Let's get right to the point. All right, so here we go. Chapter 7, Section 1. We are all about solving linear systems in this chapter, okay? So real quick, like what is a linear system? So if we're talking about a linear system here, linear means straight. So think like a straight line, which is all we've basically been graphing up to this point. You have that whole slope intercept stuff, you have the point slope, all of these equations are creating linear graphs, all right? So linear, straight line linear straight line. And then when we're talking about a system, that means we are using two equations, both graphed on the same coordinate plane. Okay, so you got your y-axis, your x-axis, you're going to have two lines. So there's your system. Both of these lines are straight lines. So there's your linear. And you're looking to see, do these lines cross? Do they never cross? And then what does that tell us? Okay, so that's the basics for a linear system. Okay, so take a look at the notes here. I've highlighted the important parts that I really need to make sure you read, grasp, write down, and make sure you are doing that. You are taking notes, okay? So there's your info here. You're looking at the graph of a linear system. In other words, two equations, both together. We're trying to find where the two graphs cross, where they cross, all right? So where the two graphs cross, that's the solution, okay? That's the key piece right here. All right, where the two graphs cross, that's the solution. All right, so then if you're given, though, a single point, so right here, given a single point, and we're talking about this, they're giving you a single point, and then they ask you, is this single point a solution? What are you gonna do? You're gonna plug it in to the X and Y values, to the given equations. Here's the given equations right here. Okay, so here's your x, here's your y, and you're going to plug these values in to the given equation and see if it actually creates a true statement. All right, so that's the first example problem. We're going to go through that. And then the second example problem we're talking about is all about where do they cross? So use the given graph right here to solve the linear system. These equations, by the way, create these graphs. So that's all I'm proving here is that these equations create these graphs and where do they cross? All right, so let's do it. Let's jump into these example problems, get through our notes. Okay, zoom in a little bit here. So here's our x value, here's our y value. Let's plug them in and see if they create a true statement. If they don't, then we are simply going to say that they are not a solution. If they do, we are going to say that they are a solution. And I'll tell you right now, if it doesn't work for one equation, you can stop there. Because if it doesn't work for one, it's not going to work, it doesn't matter, your answer would be no. If it works for an equation, then you have to plug it into the other equation and see, because both equations being yes would mean yeah, it is a solution. So let's just try the top equation, see what we get here. We get a 2 times 5 giving us 10 minus a 6. Okay, so double check that we plug those in the right way. There's our x, plugged it in, there's our y. 2 value, plugged it in, and 10 minus 6 does equal 4. So, so far, we're good. So, we got to test the other one. So, 2 parentheses 5 plus 8 parentheses 2. Okay, and what we have right here is a 10 plus 16 equaling, and now what they're telling us is this should equal 11. Does 10 plus 16 equal 11? So let's go ahead and change the color here. 
Does it equal 11? No, it does not. So is the ordered pair a solution? No. All right, the ordered pair is not a solution. It worked in one, so we had to test the other, but it did not work in the other one. Okay, so nope, not a solution. Moving on. All right, so our directions here. Use the given graph to solve the linear system. As I already stated, these equations make these graphs. So you don't even have to graph it. You just have to simply look at the graph and determine what is the solution. The solution is where they cross. So you need to just use the graph. Where are they crossing? Okay, so it looks like I'm going one, two, three. So my x value is a positive 3. And then my y value, I'm going 1, 2. And right there would be a comma 2. So what is the solution? The solution x equals 3, y equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and box both of these. One gives it uh, as a simple coordinate, 3, comma 2. The other gives it to you as the actual x and y separate values. Guys, that's it. That's section one all covered there for you. So listen to the notes, follow the notes, watch the notes, take the notes, and you guys will be just fine. If you got any questions, ask me in class. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.